Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'm gonna show you an awesome trick with solidification, bevel and mats. Let's go. If you're a complete beginner, I mean absolute beginner, I would really recommend grabbing our free course Jumpstart Hard Service in Blender. Link is in the video description. It's free, so enjoy. So here we have two types of windows. Well, they kind of the same ones but different at the same time okay so the one on the right has this kind of like a ceiling effect going around i don't know if you can see that but uh if you look at certain angles you know there's much more ao here the contact shadows are deeper it looks like there's uh, kind of like a seal going around it which is really awesome and this effect is gonna work with any type of windows really like car windows it's fantastic for car windows but also for ArcVis, you know, just to make these windows look a bit more realistic, not so flat. So let me show you how it's done, okay? We're gonna grab this uh, glass here, which is just a plane that was solidified and arrayed. Nothing fancy, okay? Just the modifiers. And we're going to um, look at this glass mod for a second. So I'll show you my glass mod settings. Although I have a glass mod video. Um, this is just a light path with shadow ray plugged into factor uh, through the mix shader and there is a transparent and the glass bsdf here okay so here what we're going to do is we're going to add another mod and we're going to add the same glass material okay so literally the same glass mod and on top of that i'm going to add one more mod which is uh, darker so let me show you how it looks here it's a really dark mod uh, it's this one okay it's kind of like a dark mod sort of a charcoal gray so we're going to add this mat here at the bottom of the stack okay cool nothing happens now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this um, plane here and we're going to inset it with i now the depth and the size of this inset will determine the size of this kind of like a ceiling effect okay so don't go too crazy something like that will do and alt click here to select this loop around and what we're going to do now is we're going to assign the second glass to this loop not the first one not the last mod the second one yeah so here assign that and nothing happens yet but i'm gonna go to solidification um, modifier and here under material offset under mods you will change this to one and this will actually create this ceiling effect around your window which is pretty bloody cool now, if you were to add this dark mat on top of your window, the result's gonna be very different. It's gonna look kind of like a sticker uh, running, you know, on top of your window, okay? See what I mean? It's just uh, not the same as basically this one. This one is far more realistic and interesting because it's kind of like a, you're looking through a glass and this seal is kind of distorted. So it looks like it was going around the window pane which is awesome. Second trick is with bevels, guys. Okay, so let me just grab a cube here and let me just bevel that. So i bevel it, add some segments and I'm gonna add the same mat. So the uh, point two. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to box header D menu and I'm going to add a mat here, uh, brighter mat, okay? Uh, so this mat is brighter. So if I'm going to duplicate this cube here, uh, you will see that this mat is brighter, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this cube with this material because when you add a mat here, you add a mat to your cutters. So when I'm going to run a cutter here now uh, on this cube, you'll see I'm going to be cutting with a mat. Now the problem is that uh, you see that we got this uh, kind of like a bleed here of the mat. So we can kind of fix that um, with bevel modifier. Now it's not going to be a perfect fix. But it's gonna look better than this garbage so go here to um, bevel go to shading another material index set it to either zero okay or one right so you can choose between one or the other it's not perfect but it's better than the you know the other thing now of course if you wanted to have this uh, material uh, being applied only to the entire you're probably gonna have to go destructive so you know cut this cube with a uh, with a boolean so cut it through apply this with a smart apply and then you know run bevels here on this section uh, and then run bevels here manually so run a bevel here and you know then run bevels here or whatever you want 
but that's you know that's probably the only way to do that now if you want to remove the bevels you can always use mesh machine there's a link to mesh machine in the video description so you know these bevels even though are baked you can remove them uh, so here we can just grab that and go to y and uh, on bevel and we can just grab this one here and on bevel and the same with these and on bevel and then we can just you know grab this one here in the bottom on bevel and alt x with mesh machine to mirror and you're back to a cube all right guys well that's it uh, like i said links to box cutter hard ups and mesh machine in the video description thanks for watching see you in the next one